racism. I think I will be but better you're positioned. you're denying that racism is a I've problem. I've never denied that racism is a problem. If you listen to the response I gave to that black pastor, my whole point is racism has been a major problem for most of our national history. But we're getting close to the promised land that Martin Luther King envisioned. We're as darn close to it as we ever have been. And so what bothers the heck out of me is it's right when we're close to that promised land. Martin Luther King said it. I may not get there with you, and he didn't get there with us. But I think it desecrates the legacy of our civil rights movement. He had it again. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the night. When this video is posted, this will be the end. I'll give you guys some time to purchase, but this will be the end of the 50% off sale. If you wanted anything on Tatum Store, we got new mugs. I think I, I drank out of this one, but, but, uh, but whiskey glasses, old school dad is the one here. We got a whole bunch of new stuff. Please take advantage of it, 50% off. I'm trying to put, put some merch in your pocket for half the price. 50% off, I will not do it after tonight or when this video is posted the night of this video being posted i'm going to end the sale everything is going to be back to full price if you got something that you like hit notify me made available if it's sold out we will restock based on demand we're trying to get all of our products sold so we can bring our new stuff out and we will bring back old stuff if there's enough demand so if you like it don't pass on it and think you're going to come back hit notify me when made available also i did an interview with of uh, Vivek Ramaswamy on my Tatum Plus channel. So make sure you go to TatumPlus.com, TatumPlus.com and subscribe so you can see the full interview. Uh, and we'll play a little bit of the interview so you can see it. But anyway, let's get into this video. Like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy still whooping them across the head. And they deserve every minute of it. And I don't know why they keep challenging him. And, and it's funny. the funny thing is, is that him being a, a brown person, right? You know, they have black and brown bodies. It's like, why can't they take his word for it? They act like he a white man. The man is speaking on behalf of brown people, remember? If he was, if he was a Democrat, they'll be calling him a brown person to listen to everything he say. He's a Republican. They act like he white. So when he say things about minorities, they, they, they discount it like he not a minority. Let's roll this clip and watch this whoop down. About what, uh, white supremacy and what happened last night for a moment, because when you were talking to reporters last night, you called white supremacy a myth. When someone asked you about Dylan Roof, you said you didn't know who that is. Have you? White supremacy is a myth. The way that they present it, it's a myth. There's nothing in American society that elevates, promotes, or, or white people benefit from white supremacy. What does that even mean? It's bull crap. They just making up stuff to divide us up. White supremacy. What part of white supremacy? Like, what, what are y'all talking about? The most popular man in the world is black. He mixed. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. The most, pop, the most known person by name in the entire world. I, I would say the United States for sure. Michelle Obama number one. Barack Obama number two. Two black people. The most well-known people in the United States of America. What are y'all talking about? Looked up what happened in 2015. Yeah, yeah look, I, I've said, I, I said this last night. Invidious racial discrimination is wrong no matter how it happens. But if a Washington Post reporter is asking me almost like a catechism, whatever question I said, I'm against invidious racial discrimination, whatever form it takes, but says, do you denounce white supremacy? It's incumbent on us for us to define what white supremacy is. I wrote my book, Woke Inc., and I've written about... The detailed understanding of what the popular understanding of these terms have come to mean. Do you believe punctuality is a vestige of white supremacy, Dasha? Look, because if you don't, then you have a answer the question, about woman. Or defining those terms, or the written word, or the use, or the nuclear family. This is I, these aren't my words. These are the words of intellectual proponents from Ibram Kendi to the Ayanna Presleys to BLM that have said these are vestiges well, of white supremacy. So. He made an incredible point, and I would have got caught up in this because I would have answered the question and said, yeah, of course I'm against white supremacy. But he made a good point to distinguish because they have him saying I'm against white supremacy. Then they label everything white supremacy or white supremacists or as white supremacy. And then they say, see, you against that. See, he against that. See, he against Trump. See, he against this. They start making up these words. When white supremacy in America today is if a black man go to the gym and work out, He's operating in white supremacy. If a black man get an education and, and make straight A's, he's operating in white supremacy. 
if a black man dates a white woman and they have children and he leave his money to his white woman, according to Omar Johnson, that's operating white supremacy. Like everything is white supremacy. The fact that black people commit way more crimes than anybody else per capita, therefore they're in prison more than anybody else per capita, that's white supremacy. They, 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 you go to the, the redlining. Banks refuse to give unqualified black people loans. They called it redlining. And, 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 they, and they say they were discriminated against blacks. Then you give every black person a loan, even if they weren't disqualified. And then they call it predatory lending. Everything is white supremacy. Mr. Robert, we can't Swabby, have it both this ways. Do, we have to have you an choose, honest you discussion. You straw man arguments. Not, Last night, you, man. you brought, you brought up Jesse Smollett. It She's not a reporter. She's arguing with him. She's trying to debate. The, the best Jesse example Smollett of white supremacy. was the supremacy. hottest thing in news in the back of a fake yes. actual attack on him that we have to contend with. And, this is and actually, yet, and yet, you have examples the like the Buffalo shooter data. in New York just in cherry 2022. Picked. You have other but examples. But you are also cherry picking when you bring I'm, up Jesse so Smollett. I'll look, I'll look at all of the statistics. More black Absolutely. on black crime. If you really care about actual crime against black Americans, let's get to the root causes of it in the inner cities of this Look, country. The Anti-Defamation League tracked a 38% increase in happening. white supremacist propaganda last who's, who's year. Tracking that? 38% increase in white supremacist propaganda. Do you know how, you know, I want people to compartmentalize this just real quick. What, what is white supremacist propaganda? And how do you track it? And how do you know if it's trolls or if it's authentic white supremacist propaganda? When they say hate crimes are up, anybody can report a hate crime. If you think things are hate, you may report them as hate crimes, and they not. If somebody vandalized your house and you you a black person living in a white neighborhood, you may are you may feel because they just pumping it everywhere you go that this is done to you because you're the only black person. You report that to police as a hate crime. They have to investigate it as a hate crime. They can't say, well, you have no evidence you can't use this as a hate crime. They have to investigate it as a hate crime. When Justice Mullet said he was beat up by, these, by white dudes with MAGA hats on, they had to investigate it as a hate crime. And it was a lie. So if you accuse or you make reference to believing it was a hate crime, they have to investigate that. And therefore, they classify it that way. So therefore, you will see an increase in hate crimes, even though there's not actual you know, convictions or actual proof that these are, in, in fact, hate crimes. That's pretty much what that is. The anti-defamation Yeah, the ADL, I don't think, is a particularly credible source so when they have a cherry-picked information. So who are we supposed to look to when we're talking look, about it? Look, I would suggest, look at the, there's a table, two-by-two two table, a federal law enforcement data, which you could say what you do. Maybe maybe we shouldn't believe that either. But okay. look at black the on Asian FBI, crime, black on black crimes, crime, the FBI white on hate black crime. crime statistics, that's a, a law enforcement agency. Uh, 59 the, the, so what he was trying to explain, because she cut him off, is that if you look at the... The FBI statistics on uh, race on race crime, black people kill twice as many white people as white people kill black people in the race relation murder statistic. Twice as many. There was like, a, I forget what year it was, I, the chart is in my mind. It was about 200 uh, black white people that killed black people and it was over 400 black people who killed white people. When I say 400, let me let me put it this way because it sounds kind of crazy. That was that was 200 black victims murdered by white people. Let me just say it that way. And there was 400 white victims murdered by black people. So if somehow you you're in a theology that white supremacy is the biggest threat, when then why are black people killing more white people? Twice as many white people as white people killing blacks. When blacks only make up a small percentage of the population, why is the majority of black people who get killed? Period are killed by other blacks, 96%. What are we saying here? 9.1% was based on itself. race, ethnicity, I look at absolute and violence. ancestry, saying hate crimes rose 12% between 2020 and 2021. Look at the absolute crimes themselves. What they classify as a hate crime is itself a political judgment. I think that when you actually care about protecting life, if you want to say black lives matter, let's look at where black lives are actually being lost. It's in the cities at the heart of other look, black Americans and criminals. And this, and that's that are absolutely by the absence that we talk of about as well. Police, but are we, we supposed to ignore white supremacist mm -hmm. hate crimes? We're not supposed to ignore any kind of crime, Dasha. That's what I say. But what I see is a selective reporting. Take the Nashville Transgender Shooter Manifesto. Every shooter manifesto in a mass shooting has been released within four. It comes back to the point of my candidacy and the way I'm going to run this country. Trust the people with the not good worry thing. that your no, rhetoric th is pushing them away. There are folks to the in, contrary. In I think we're going to bring GOP black people right into who this are movement. concerned about your rhetoric. Well, you know what? I'm concerned about their corruption. 
If you had somebody who actually one of the most one of a prominent black influencer the other day, she's what did she say? I've been black my whole life, and this man could actually unify this country in response to a long exchange I had with a black pastor who had an event here in Iowa. Did racism is a I've problem. never des- denied that racism is a problem. And if you listen to the response I gave to that black pastor, my whole point is racism has been a major problem for most of our national history. But we're getting close to the promised land that Martin Luther King envisioned. We're as darn close to it as we ever have been. And so what bothers the heck out of me is it's right when we're close to that promised land. Martin Luther King said it. I may not get there with you, and he didn't get there with us. But I think it desecrates the legacy of our civil rights movement, desecrates the legacy of Martin Luther King, that right when we get closest to the point of having racial equality and gender equality and even opportunities for people of minorities of many types, are we perfect? No. But are we as close as we've ever been? Yes, we have to then obsess over systemic racism, to then obsess over white guilt and otherwise. We're creating new waves of racism, Dasha, that we otherwise would have avoided right when we're closest to having achieved what even the proponents of the civil rights movement would have dreamed of. That's what bothers me. My exchange with that black pastor about about a week or so ago, right here in Iowa, not far from where it's slogans, but by speaking the hard truth, that we've been imperfect in our past, Love what he had to say. There's more to it, but I, I ain't got time to watch. I got to get on radio. But I, I agree with every. I agree with what he's saying. I mean, these people they don't they don't live in reality. They live in a fallacy, um, and they believe that somehow white supremacy is real with no evidence, and, and they want to project what black people are experiencing. I'm black, and I agree with everything he said. His rhetoric is not turning me off. His rhetoric is turning off dumb people. Legitimate people can say, "Well, it's true what he's saying. I just don't like how he's saying it." Be honest about it. But it, he's not turning people off. It's these, these same virtue signaling white liberals are, are the detriment of society. Black people are stupid. We could get IDs and we, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like all of this stuff is, just, they just make up stuff to try to break us up off in the groups. But anyway, shout out to Vivek Ramaswamy. I mean, every video I make of Vivek is viral. Shout out to Vivek. Uh, I think he's worthy of supporting. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. 